presentation of this program is made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations and a grant from the Ford Foundation. Possible by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. A while ago, we asked you to write in and tell us what you want to see again on Zoom. In this show, you'll see Late Date and the Pogo Stick Guest. Dear Zoom, I've made up a game called Cookie Cards. Pick who goes first, that person picks a card, they do the thing the card says. Go around so everyone has a turn. Have fun. Yours truly, Mary Walsh of Barrington, Rhode Island. Pick a number one to ten. Two. Uh, two. No. Wait a minute, I haven't got the number yet. <laughs> <laughs> one to twenty. Seven. Uh, Thirteen. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Seven. Fifteen. 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 He's fifteen before you do it. Yeah, but I get a turn. <laughs> okay, just, go. Just give somebody to go. It's a fresh, uh, uh, it's your first, it looks like an age, I don't know. It's your first a attempt, attempt to walk and you're, you got a hiccup, you got the hiccup, mm -hmm. you said. Oh, what? It's your first attempt, attempt to, to walk, walk and, and you're, and, and you got, got the hiccups. You got the hiccups. You got the hiccups. First step out to walk. Oh, your first, first attempt. attempt. You attempt to walk. First time to walk and you got the hiccups. <laughs> Somebody get up. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> you had the hiccups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 What is it? Beat it. Beat it. What does it say? It says, oh. your Juliet showed us your oh, most romantic love affair. <laughs> okay, Leon. Oh, uh, yeah. Leon, she must know. No, you Leon. Leon. I want to. <laughs> well, Leon, yeah, I do No, but. Oh, I want to do that. Just do one oh. thing to say. Can I run off the game? Does she have to read it again? Huh? Well, I have to read it again? It makes oh, sense. Oh, goodness. It's fun. I like this game. Your Miss Mr. of America shows your muscles. Mr. America. Mommy, you should know I'm doing this. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> okay. You are a clown show. Show us your funniest face. Uh, uh, hmm. Fine. I don't know any. Come on, just do anything. Just make a funny face. Only one. That's my funny. Daisy. What's 
say you're a silly ballerina. Do a silly ballet. Ballet dance. Ballet dance. Ballet. Oh, the thing. Do it at the All right. No, no, no. I take ballet lessons. Cherry Quick of Chicago, Illinois, and Sharon Plump of Great Neck, New York. This is called the Russian dance, and this is what you do. Squat down, put your hands on your hips, now kick out one leg and then the other. See who can do it the fastest for the longest. Good luck.
know how to make water shoes, send us a letter with a stamped, self-addressed envelope so we can send you a Zoom card. C3? Yeah, C7? Yeah. As a matter of fact, did you know that in Sumatra, there's a two-horned rhinoceros that weighs one ton? How tall is it? Oh, only about four feet and a half. Oh. Johnny Polk of Brooklyn, New York, sent us a story in verse about a girl and her boyfriend. It's called Late Date. Poor little Mildred sat in her chair, waiting for her boyfriend, pulling on her hair. Oh, where, oh, where is Tommy? It's the third time he didn't come. He's probably out with another girl while I stay bored at home. All these nights while standing me up, he's having the time of his life. By the time I get through to him, he'll probably have a wife. Not far from there, in another house, is Mildred's boyfriend, Tommy Mouse. Where is Mildred? She's late again. My anger's getting worse. If she doesn't come in a few more minutes, I'm gonna start to curse. But before my anger makes me fall, I think I'll give her a little call. While Tommy's having a ball, I think I'll give him a little call. Busy, busy, what do I do? Busy, busy, I can't get through. A busy signal, that sign is bad. Now I'm getting really mad. He's probably calling a girl with a real nice name. By the time I get through to him, he'll be framed. So Mildred is talking to another boy. That really makes me mad. When I see her, her shape will be real sad. So Mildred's boyfriend, Tommy Mouse, set off to go to Mildred's house. Hello, hello, who's knocking at my door? It's me, Tommy. You've made me very sore. Come in, come in. What took you so long? I thought you were coming for me, but now I see I'm wrong. Weren't you supposed to come for me? Isn't that true? I don't know a bit about that, but I'm going to the movies. Would you like to come along, too? Of course, dear Tommy. I do, I do, I do. That's our little story. The two of them left friends. We're out of time and out of rhymes, so I guess this is the end. Why don't you write a play yourself and send it to Zoom? Because we might do it. <laughs> Zoom will resume after this important message. How bye, fa folks. Subby ma bye, tubby. Dabo dabe labo grubby. Abba yabuz, abba bubby, double bubby, tabooth pubbaste. Lava tabooth pubbaste, dabba mabeg shabo, tabooth brubbush, smabile. Now back to Zoom. Zoom guests and appear on Zoom. My thing is pogo sticky. My name is Mara Cassidy. I'm 11 years old. I can pogo stick with both hands, one hand, no hands, and one foot. My brother got it out of a catalog for Christmas, and so then he said, I bet you can't jump three hundred times in a pogo stick. And so we had like a championship one day. And so I sort of won. Like that, but you really can't. You have to jump on. 
And then when you get on that, you have to stay in one certain place or keep going for a long time and you're not supposed to get off balance. But at the beginning, it's sort of hard. You go like twice and then you say, well, I can do it a hundred times. And then the kid comes along and says, no, you can't. You can only do it twice. And so you have to keep practicing. Every day you should do it after school or whatever it is. And then maybe you'll be able to do it long. Oh, no. Once I had a dream that I could jump really high. I dreamed that I could jump all the way up to the moon. I missed the moon, but I landed on Mars. <laughs> Come around here 50 years sooner, we would. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you would? Zoom, Tracy asked some kids what they were most scared of. Some of you wrote in and asked us what we were afraid of. We had a rap about it. I went to this hospital once, you know, I... <laughs> no, I went to this hospital where they have... There's this one little place where you go that you have to get across towards uh, another building. And you have to go through where they bring uh, drunk men and people laying on the street and so forth to check them over and I was going through there once and it was scary because they have all these policemen, big huge guys and then in comes this guy walking drunk talking all this mess and stuff. And he was like just stumbled around the morning I walked into my brother's room and he was on the bed asleep with all his clothes on. <laughs> scary. No, 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 it's not that, it's not that. I says, uh, I walked in, I says, uh, mom, checks <laughs> Jack's sleeping with all his clothes on. <laughs> I know it sounds funny. I thought it was kind of funny then. And she, she says, uh, he was in an accident last night. And he's, uh, he's in a state of shock. He got a concussion. Oh. And I mean, like, I didn't know what was going on because you go in and he's sleeping in his clothes. <laughs> 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 but, you know, like, something that, and then it shocks you because, you know, you think it was funny at first. And then he's in a concussion because he's just there like, <laughs> straight out like that. Mm -hmm. This one night I was, I woke up, I was just after Halloween, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had my bag of candy next to the bed. And I, you know, I rustled around trying to get some candy out, right? I'm just about to get out to get a drink of water with it, get out of my room, because my room was, there are these short steps, and my room was right at the top of the steps. And I'm just about to get out, and I see this shadow. Uh, you know, and it, you know, there's, there's the wall right by the steps. And I was like, oh, that really so scary because I thought there was this guy, you know, at the bottom of the steps. I tried to get back to sleep, but I, because I thought, well, I'll, get, I'll probably just see something. And I looked back and I thought I had seen the thing move. And, uh, <laughs> I kept hearing all these weird noises as though the guy was just moving away and, or moving up the steps. So I very calmly got out of bed, walked into the hole. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I walked into the hole, walked halfway up the hallway, and then ran into <laughs> my father's room. Said, Dad, 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 there's a man. There's a man downstairs, Dad. <laughs> So my father got me the police number, 
and he said he's going to go downstairs and he's going to he flicked the lights on and off to scare the guy away and he went downstairs and he said joe come here a sec so i walked down and some 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 person had hung my jacket up on the door <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's that happened so many yeah. times because in my house it's real old and see in my brother's room it's like he is our room and then there's a little hallway and over to the right. 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 A man, a real old man that um, like that sold that sold my mother the house. He died in my brother's room, <laughs> That's which is lovely. which is pretty scary. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, um, like when I'm the only one upstairs, I hate this. When I'm the only, I have to go upstairs by myself, and all the lights are off. You have to walk upstairs to go to bed. But and, yes, but just and. And sometimes when you walk up there, I get in the bed and I cover myself up. And then you hear these little eh, eh, noises and you go out there, yeah. who's out there? And then it stops. And you find out that nobody's out there. Out. Then you're, then you're yeah. scared to death because you hear all these creaks and you see shadows and everything because our hall closet and we have clothes hanging up on a rack. and. There's a um, window in the back of the hall that has that has broken glass in it, so the clothes move. And when you look out there, you see this big shadow, this big heavy overcoat, and it's oh. moving like that. You really get scared. <laughs>
you have it. Write and tell us what you'd like to see again on Zoom. possible by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Presentation of this program was made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations and a grant from the Ford Foundation.